Look at Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as He hath chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. <coughs> Read 5, please. Having predestinated us under the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Right now, your Calvinist friends would take this passage and they think it's their baby, right? This means that we're all predestinated. Uh, the easy way to read it, the right way to read it, um, is like this. And the right way to read it also sheds a lot of light on this topic of are we saved different ways in different ages. The right way to read it is verse 4. Look, according as he hath chosen us in him. The choice that God made before the foundation of the world was to save all those who believe. Right? He did not choose certain people. He chose certain people who believe. That makes sense? It's a, it's a corporate, some people call it corporate election or group election. He chose this group of people to go to heaven who believe the gospel. He, this group that rejects the gospel clearly goes straight to hell because of their sins. That's the way to preach it, right? That is the way to teach it. It's the way to contend with the Calvinist. If you understand that, this corporate idea that you can use the bus analogy. There's one bus going to Kentucky, we'll say, and one bus is going to Seattle. Don't go to Seattle, um, right? Whatever bus you got onto, it's predetermined to go to those locations, right? Okay. So if you choose to reject the gospel and go to Seattle, um, that's your choice, okay? Make sense? No offense to those who love Seattle and living on the streets in a box and things like that. 